Hi, and welcome back to ChoosePTFirst.com. My name is Tony Maritato. I'm a licensed physical therapist, and today I want to talk about running with plantar fasciitis or heel pain. Now, if you're a runner, whether it's a recreational runner or a competitive runner, there's probably been an episode in which you experienced some plantar fasciitis-related symptoms, also considered heel pain. So I want to talk about when it's appropriate to continue to train, continue to run through the plantar fasciitis symptoms, when it's appropriate to change your training program. I'm not ever going to say you stop training. I'm going to say you modify the training program to deload the plantar fascia when it's just not getting better. But let's first talk about what the plantar fascia is. Simply put, if you think of my hand as the bottom of your foot, so here's the top of the foot, here are the toes. The plantar fascia is a thick connective tissue that runs from the base of the toes back to the heel, also known as the calcaneus. And so as I'm walking and running, as my arch is flexing, that plantar fascia is working hard to support the bottom of the foot. Now there are times that it's going to become inflamed sensitized, painful for various reasons. It could be because you've changed your training volumes. It could be there's something going on inside your body, your immune system. Um, there's lots of things that can contribute to the pain that one experiences in their plantar fascia. Also the pain, sometimes the pain is going to be dead center in the middle uh, front portion of the heel. Sometimes it's going to be more toward the back where the Achilles tendon comes in and attaches. Sometimes the pain is actually on the sides of the heel bone, the calcaneus. So the pain will move around. It's going to be localized in different areas for different people. Certainly different runners, different body types. I tend to be more of a midfoot, forefoot runner. I wear a minimalist shoe. Um, everybody's just going to be a little different. But the idea here is we want to first identify what's contributing to what we believe is causing the pain in the bottom of the foot, the heel. Is this something that we can continue to train through? It'll get better on its own. Or is this something that's going to require us to modify our training schedule? For me, what I typically find is when I'm evaluating a new patient in the clinic, I want to get a thorough case history. I want to get an assessment of their range of motion, their strength levels. I want to know if there's been any recent injuries. I want to know if there's been, been any recent changes in regards to have you gained weight? Have you lost weight? Have you had any any recent viral or bacterial infections, I want to know as much as I can because I'm trying to paint a picture of what I think might be going on. And so if I find that somebody tells me the story, the classic plantar fascia pain story is if I wake up in the morning, I put my feet on the ground, the first couple steps are painful, sharp stabbing. But then once I've moved around a little bit, I've gotten my coffee, I've gone to the bathroom, the pain is reduced. That's pretty classic. That's usually what you hear. And then there's a sweet period, you know, mid-morning through early afternoon where you're feeling great. You're not even thinking about it. But if you sit down for 20 minutes or longer when you first get up, the pain is back. And a lot of that is because the connective tissue, the plantar fascia has shortened and tightened. It's become sensitized, possibly inflamed again. And so once you get up and take those first couple steps, you're pulling on that sensitive tissue which is telling you, hey, there's something going on down here. Now, if the, the heel pain and the sensitive, sensitivity in the plantar fascia gets better with activity, I generally am an advocate of continuing to train, especially if you're training with an objective. If you're training for a marathon, you're training for a race of any kind, um, the sensitivity that you're experiencing is not necessarily a sign of damage or danger. So as long as it gets better with activity, I usually tend to continue to train. I look at improving my recovery between workouts. I want to sleep better. I want to recover better. I want to look at my nutrition. Am I deficient in my recovery? Most of the clients that I see in the clinic, it's not so much that there was a traumatic injury to the soft tissue of the plantar fascia. It's that they weren't ramping up their recovery. They weren't increasing the caloric consumption along with the increasing training volume. And so their body is breaking down and not repairing in time for them to do another training run or other activities. That's usually what I see in the clinic. And so I want to make sure that 
we protect the training time, we protect the time on the road because that's what we love to do while optimizing for recovery. Now, the situations where I do recommend you scale back your training volume or you change what you're doing for training, maybe less road time, maybe more time on a bike, maybe more time swimming, more time doing other things that are going to optimize other systems of the body that will not interfere with your ability to perform on the road but will give the plantar fascia time to heal. I'm usually looking at the individual who they start having pain from the beginning of their run and the pain never gets better. The pain doesn't go away. They have pain from the first step to the the 300th step to the 5,000th step. The pain is just always there. That is somebody who probably needs to deload the plantar fascia, give it time to rest while focusing their training on other aspects. Focus on the cardiovascular, focus on the breathing, focus on the mindfulness and meditation, focus on the core, focus on lots of other muscle groups and body parts that will contribute to your performance running your next road race, but that will allow the actual plantar fascia to unload. And this is when I highly recommend that person connect with a licensed professional, a physician, an orthopedic, a physical therapist, an occupational therapist, somebody who understands the lifestyle and stresses of a competitive runner, but who also understands the physiology of recovery. Because in most cases, this is a recovery deficit. And we want to optimize the body's ability to recover. And the longer we are in a recovery deficit, the deeper the hole we dig, the longer it takes for us to get back out of it. So it's something that if we notice a little plantar fascia heel pain for a couple of days and then we address it right then and there, usually it resolves quickly and it doesn't interrupt or interfere with anything we're doing. If we push through it, and it doesn't get better and it continuously gets worse, we're digging a deeper hole and then it gets to the point where it's nearly impossible to get out of that hole. It's frustrating. It's taxing on you mentally, emotionally, obviously physically. So if you have questions, specific questions about plantar fascia, heel pain, absolutely post those questions in the comments below. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video.